Hey, hello, welcome to the Old Geezer's Diary. My name's Chris, and it's the 23rd of August, 2024. Now I've kept my trap shut since the general election and a bit before, because I didn't feel like I had any right to try and influence people to vote Labour. But thank God so many of us did, because we needed a change from the Conservatives, who proved themselves to be essentially crooks who do what they like and make themselves richer at everybody else's expense. But, having said that, I'm a bit disappointed with the Labour Party. According to Ofgem, the energy people, energy costs per household are supposed to increase right around £150 this October, just in time for winter, and just in time to hit pensioners who are no longer going to get the winter fuel allowance. What are the Labour Party thinking about? I believe that the Labour Party, in the person of Rachel Reeves, are actually stabbing people in the back, and people who are the worst place in our society to actually cope with increasing costs. I'm a pensioner, but I'm, I'm not bothered. It's not a big problem for me. But for many pensioners, the winter fuel allowance is going to be sorely missed. Let's be honest and say what that she's done is cut the whole thing apart from the very poorest pensioners, pensioners whose incomes are silly low and in a position where it makes them have to decide whether to turn the heating on or have something to eat. Is that right in a modern civilised society with a government that says that it's behind people and wants to actually make life work better? I don't believe it is. A single pensioner who is on the limit is going to be really hard up this winter because most pensioners who are single, living on their own, have normal living costs, but have a pitiful pension. The full rate of state pension is £221 a week. It's about 12 grand a year. The reality is that the minimum wage in the UK is about £460 a week for a 40-hour week. That's what the government actually believes we should be earning in order to live. But a pensioner without any additional income is on less than half of that. So how the hell does someone live on the basic state pension? It's a damn good question. And it's a question we need the Labour Party and any politician to actually answer. I'm not arguing that many pensioners aren't reasonably comfortably off. Lots of us have private pensions to some degree. I have a smallish private pension. I'm not complaining personally about the winter fuel allowance, but I am complaining that the Labour Party, which honestly I thought cared more for people, I am complaining about the situation of two or three million people perhaps who actually are at a level above the minimum on which they get additional support, who are going to be hard up this winter and maybe make that decision, I can't have the heating on because I want something to eat. Where does that one go? How the hell do you do that one? We need Rachel Reeves to actually get a grip of herself or else we need Mr Starmer, Sir Keir to actually get a grip of himself and say, let's try and be the party the Labour Party was always supposed to be, the one that looked after people a little bit better than the Tories who don't give a bugger. OK, I'm Chris. Have a think about what I've said. I'd love to have your comments. I read each and every one of them. So get in touch. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and take care of yourselves.